As you know, 90% of the new motorcycles comes with terrible stock seats and because of that most of the riders will do something about it. It might be very expensive custom seat or some other solutions like gel pad, air hook or the old fashioned sheep skin. But do they really help? If you have nothing to do now, you can grab your favorite drink and I will tell you everything that I know on this topic. Welcome back guys, before you open the internet and purchase one of these options, please listen what I am about to tell you. This video is going to be maybe around 10 minutes long and with the idea to support my theory, I would like you to pick the most comfortable chair or sofa that you have at home. And now please try to stay as still as possible. Of course you can move a little bit forward, backward, left, right, but don't stand up and don't cross your legs. Try to pretend that you're sitting on your motorcycle seat. And please count the time. You don't need stopwatch because the video itself will show you how long you stay there. Now, over the years I've tested all possible options. Custom seats, gel pads, air hogs, sheepskin, you name it, I've done it. And I can tell you all the downsides of each one of the options. It is true that I never bought really expensive custom seat for my motorcycle, but I've tested more than enough motorcycles that already have it. And to be honest, I wasn't impressed. If you ask most of the experienced riders, they will swear that there is nothing better than the old fashioned sheep skin for your motorcycle seat, right? We'll go back to this in a minute, but before that, let me remind you that maybe around 25 years ago, the best riding gear was considered leather. Yes, it was like this until the textile or the new synthetic materials came into the market. Well, there are much better options, features, colors, designs. They actually absolutely killed the leather in just one decade. Nowadays, I doubt that you will even find one per 20, 30 riders who still use uh, leather riding gear. First, because it is expensive. Secondly, it is not that practical. And the third, maybe the most important, is because it is not waterproof. But let's go back to the sheepskin. I have a question to all the owners of sheepskin, real sheepskin. Uh, did you ever try it to ride it in the rain, muddy or dusty conditions? Or to be more precise, do you know what is the feeling after that? If you still use it, that only means that you know the negatives of it, but you don't have any better solutions or you just try to be as stubborn as possible and keep your word in, in every cost. And of course, on this point, I will expect some dislikes or negative comments or people telling me how good the sheepskin is. But actually, what you will do is just to waste your time because this won't change my opinion in any way. It will just extend your agony with probably another few years. Let's talk now about the gel pads. Maybe around 7-8 years ago, I saw one of these in the shop and I sat on it for a, a couple of minutes and it was such a pleasure. So I immediately bought it. It cost me 50 euros, not that bad, 50 euros. The sensation to sit on it for a couple of minutes was just fantastic. It was so well designed. It was tiny with good straps to stretch it on the seat. Perfect, so I bought it. And uh, after a few days, I went to a one week trip with this gel pad. And guess what? I removed it after first 200 kilometers. If you ask me why, I don't know, but it's something fundamentally wrong with this gel pad. Instead of helping me to feel better, it was pressing the same points. I don't know how to even explain it, but I never use it again. Then I learned about a new option, Air Hawk. It's a small cushion with air inside. You inflate the proper amount of air regarding to your weight and you start riding and you have absolutely perfect comfort. It looks like a very good option, but because it was expensive, something like $150, $180, I didn't want to spend this money. But friend of mine, very good friend of mine who has it, gave it to me for one of my trips. At the beginning, uh, I've got some difficulties to find the proper amount of air, not too much, not too little to set for my weight, weight. But once I've done it, it was comfortable, no doubts about it. Until I went to Morocco, where 
I need to stand on the pegs here and there. And every time when I need to stand on the pegs, it was moving under my legs because it was tightened to the seat with the straps. But every time when I stand and need to sit again, I have to adjust it to the proper position. It happens so many times and every time when I stand and I sit and I hold the handlebar with my right hand and with the left right to adjust the seat because it was moving forward, backward, left, right. So it's, it's, it's impossible to stay in one place. When I stand, I move it. When I sit, I move it. In one of these move, move, movement, I almost dropped the bike because of this uh, I'm losing my concentration because I want to adjust the seat. So after a few more situations like that, I removed it and never use it again. In the next few years, I continue riding with just my seat with nothing on it. Of course, here I have to admit that the seat of my old Tenere was already redone from me many years ago. Uh, the original stock seat got a big curve. And this actually, every time when you sit on it, slide you exactly to the same position and you press exactly the same points on your body or your ass and after a few hours this start hurts. So the, with the, the flat uh, design that I have done, it was way way better but the, the main idea of the flat seat was not to make it more comfortable for sitting, the idea was to make it more comfortable for riding. To, to have a proper 90 degree angle of my legs. That's why I have done it. Uh, in fact, it is not mm, softer or wider or, or harder than the stock seat. It is just flat seat. After I removed this air hawk, I spent the next, I don't know how many years riding with uh, just a normal seat or the seat that I've got on my old Tenere. And the reason I kept it like that is because I really, uh, the shape of the seat that I've done was really comfortable for my size and I didn't need anything else until I found in India this 3D mesh and since then I always use it on my old Tenere and I, now I've got it even on my new Tenere I don't need to do anything with the seat here because it is flat as you can see so I don't need to change the design or the shape or the, the, the position because it is comfortable for me. What I've done is just to add this 3D mesh on the top. So let me tell you a few words about it. The first time when I saw this type of cover was in 2015 in Uzbekistan. I actually met a Russian guy with GS1200 who has it on the front and rear seat. And I asked him, does it really help? Because I like the idea of just stretch this and do nothing more. And when he confirmed that this is the best option that he ever had, I tried to find it since then, but uh, I tried in Amazon, in AliExpress, but what I found were just um, a specific uh, sizes for scooters, so my seat was big enough, so I couldn't find it, and it was like this until I went to India in 2018. And the bike that I was riding there was Royal Enfield Himalayan, and the stock seat was terrible. It was so soft that you actually feeling, you have the feeling that you sit on the frame. So in the first days, I asked one of the locals guys where we can go to do something with this seat because it was just impossible to use it like that. So we went to a, a local uh, like market and in one of the places we saw this 3D cover and I immediately said, well, I need this. So we covered the front and the rear seat of the Himalayan and in the next few days I felt so well. The, the difference is so big that I couldn't believe it that such a simple solution will provide this comfort so I, I went back to this uh, market and, and bought a big piece maybe 120 to 120 from India and brought it back to Berlin Germany in fact this big piece costed me there just one dollar so I went to Berlin and I said okay this now need to be stretched with a big staple gun to my seat but because I haven't got staple gun I went to the local furniture shop and asked the guy there to do it for me he checked what I want. I, of course, I brought the seat with me and the cover and everything. And he said, yeah, yeah, I can do it. 50 euros. I said, well, where are you from? And he said, I'm from Syria. And I, I, I said to him, listen, I'm Bulgarian. I'm not a German. I'm not going to pay 50 euros for something that you will do for five minutes. I'll go to the shop, buy a staple gun for 20 euros and do it by myself. And he said, all right, 25. So I gave him 25 euros. And he done it for me. So this seat costed me 25 euros plus one dollar. And after that, 
I never wanted anything else. And let me tell you now something funny, but it's a real. Uh, before that, with my seat, the seat that I have done, after maybe three, four to five riding long days, I start to have these two red lines on my ass. So this is the middle line and two red on my ass because of the seat, the way the seat was sticking. So once I've got this 3D mesh, the two lines disappear. So uh, on my old tenere, uh, I've got this, uh, as I told you, this mesh for many years, but last year in Turkey, uh, in the, some of the last days, I, I scratched it with my boots, the mesh, they start to open a big holes on it. So finally, it fell apart and I remove it. It's actually hold like more than three, four years, uh, a lot of kilometers. But uh, after it fell apart, I just remove it. And immediately, the red lines come back on my ass, immediately. As you can see now, and you can also check all of my old videos that I use only this option, nothing else. More or less, it works exactly the same way as the sheep skin. It provides this a few millimeters air cushion between your ass and the seat and help the air circulate so you don't sweat that much. It also helps with the hot and cold days. When it's hot, again, this insulation helps, so you don't sweating. When it's cold, it's not that cold. It does not hold the water. And it's, it's, it's a perfect option without the negatives that the sheepskin got. All right, on this also, you can have some small, maybe branches or some sometimes even bugs or bees stuck in. But once you go to the car wash, you can just spray it and that's it. Nowadays, because this 3D mesh became very popular, you can find it everywhere. Amazon, AliExpress, probably in your local store as well. The installation is very easy. What you need is just a simple staple gun for $15, $20 and 15 minutes from your own time. Now, before you go, please let me know in the comment section below. What is the feeling to stay still on your favorite coach at home in perfect comfort? And this will actually answer the question does this expensive seat really help? Anyway, if you want to learn more about long motorcycle trips and everything around them, you can check the rest of the videos on the channel. I have more than 900 free videos. If you want to learn but you don't have the time, you might consider joining my online course. Over there, for only eight hours, you will learn the basics or the most important that you need to know and finally start with your dream adventures. The moment I've got even 50% discounts, all the links are in the description down below. See you next time. Ciao!